everyone, I'm Eddie V. Welcome to the channel and in today's video I'm going to be talking about the good and bad of trucking in the state of Pennsylvania. If you're new to the channel, go ahead and, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell, that way you don't miss anything. Guys, Pennsylvania does not have a whole lot of good. Actually, matter of fact, they have a whole lot of bad to talk about. Let's just start with the good first. First, uh, first off, if you're in the mountain range of Pennsylvania, it is beautiful. Same for in the farmlands or in the country roads that you're going. It's beautiful there. Fall time, uh, summertime, springtime, wintertime. It's year-round. It can be beautiful there. And it is home to the second state with the largest uh, population of uh, Amish people. First state is actually Ohio and Pennsylvania second. Now guys, about bad, the roads can be bad here, yes, in Pennsylvania, they can be really, really bad here. Also guys, the weather can be rough anywhere in Pennsylvania. They do get snow, it does not often stay on the ground, but they do get snow in the mountains, and they get snow anywhere, uh, and yes, that can cause accidents and pileups, that does happen here, especially on I-81 in the mountains and I-80. Also guys, Pennsylvania, uh, it does have rough weather even in the summertime. I was in, the, in around the rolling hills and they had a tornado. I didn't realize it until somebody at the truck stop told me what I actually ran through. That's why it was really, really windy. Also, guys, once you're off the main roads in Pennsylvania, there's not a whole lot of truck stops. If there is, they're mom and pop shops or like truck stops, mom and pop truck stops. But those mom and pop truck stops, you are required to pay for parking even if it's not reserved, which is completely stupid, but that's how it is. So if you're in Pennsylvania, try to find a bigger scale truck stop that does not require you to pay. But if it does require you pay, make sure it's the one where you could if you either buy fuel or eat at the restaurant, then you're not required to uh, pay for the truck parking. Automatically, you just put up the tickets that you paid for your food and you get uh, free parking. Also, guys, what I don't like about Pennsylvania is their dumb speed limits. The 70 mile an hour speed limits are only on I-80 and turnpikes and certain parts probably on I-81, but I don't remember much. Most of their speed limits are dumb 65, so I run around 66 to 68 miles an hour just to get somewhere where I need to get because it's awfully slow. And once you start approaching a big city, what's very dumb about the state is that the speed limit of the state is 55 miles an hour when you get close to the city absolutely dumb you're not even the city you can be 10 miles away from a main city they throw it down to 55 miles an hour which i think is dumb and it's just called entrapment also guys when it comes to dot bliss weeks the dot officers here are horrible i mean i've never got stopped but i've seen how bad it can get i've seen like three or four trucks pulled over for roadside inspection during a dot uh blitz week and it was in the construction zone I know it sounds very dangerous, but I've seen it happen and they're hiding everywhere just to catch a truck or speeding. That way they could uh, basically do an inspection on him. So be careful when you're driving here in Pennsylvania during Blitz Week. The only good part about it is there's way stations are usually always closed because they don't actually have a actual scale on the way station. So they have a little play on their portable scale how much you can go overweight because they're never accurate. So that's the thing about uh, Pennsylvania and they also do not have pre-pass so basically guys well, maybe one or two has pre-passes I don't know I haven't been everywhere in Pennsylvania but everything is once they set up the scale house to be open they're pulling every truck in and the only bypass you get is a hand, gest a hand gesture saying you can move on and not stop to wait so that's how it is in the state of Pennsylvania guys um, and also to add that their fuel is expensive here. I stopped at, uh, it, this was uh, two years ago, or no, about a year ago. It was like 2020. I stopped for fuel, not at a main truck stop, like a big brand name, but I stopped like at a local, uh, locally owned truck stop, and it was like 50 cents more for diesel than at a regular truck stop, like Lugs. So this is very confusing about here in Pennsylvania, but that's just how it is. So, all right, guys. Um, if you're driving to Pennsylvania, just I hope you found this stumble on this video and took my advice on how to drive through it. Now, so be careful when you drive through it, especially during harsh conditions at DOT Blitz Week. And be careful in general to watch the speed limits because they can catch you for speeding. All right, guys, thank you for watching this video. I'm Eddie B. Not canceled. Hey guys, I'm Eddie B.
Driving attempt in the 6 Series. 